Hey there, today we're gonna look at the Comica V30 Lite Super Cardioid Condenser Microphone. So, let's get started. The Comica V30 Lite is about 40 US dollars or 54 Canadian. This pricing is lower than Comica's main competitor, the Rode Mic. Obviously, this pricing was set to make it more enticing for buyers to hopefully choose their mics over Rode's, but people would only choose it if it can deliver decent performance and quality. So, let's go over those. Looking at the physical, the mic is moderately sized for a style, has a hot shoe adapter with a built-in quarter 20 thread, a shock mount, a foam windscreen, a non-removable wire, and a switch for toggling between camera and phone mode. The mic itself is also very light at 52 grams or 1.83 ounces because it's made of plastic. But I'm happy to say that it's actually fairly decently made. I don't think it'll have any problem handling standard usage. So overall, I didn't really notice any negatives in terms of physical aspect of the mic. Though if I can be a little bit nitpicky, then I wish it had a removable wire, but it's not a big deal. Now let's look at a few key audio specs before I demo the mic. The Comica V30 Lite is a condenser microphone with a super cardioid pickup pattern. And it also has an advertised frequency range of 40 Hertz to 20 kilohertz, a sensitivity of negative 34 dB plus minus three, and a signal to noise ratio greater than 68 dB. If that was all mumble jumble to you, that's okay, because in the end, all that matters is if it sounds good or not. So let's turn off the background music and start the audio sample. What you're hearing right now is a Comica V30 Lite mic, and it's sitting a little over a meter away or a little over 3.3 feet away. It is plugged straight into my camera, which is a Sony a7R2, and I've done no post-processing to the audio. So what you're hearing is straight from the mic into the camera preamps. If you hear any kind of slight hums in the background, that's because I have a computer running about six feet away or about two meters away on the ground right there. So that was the Comica V30 Lite recorded to my camera. Now at this point, I wanted to give you a comparison to a Rode video mic, but sadly, I couldn't get hold of one in time. So we'll have to analyze the Comica mic by itself. I personally think that the Comica's audio is actually acceptable for its price. It's lacking a little in the lows a little bit, and it definitely does pick up more echo in the room than what I'm used to, but it's not something jarring enough to become a distraction. Okay, that mode was for recording to cameras and dedicated recorders. Now we'll look at the mode where it records to a cell phone. The cell phone I'll be using for this test is a Samsung Galaxy S8. What you're hearing right now is the Comica mic plugged into the Galaxy S8. And this is how it sounds like. For the next clip, I'm going to switch it to just the internal mic on the Galaxy S8 so we can have a comparison. So what you're hearing right now is a clip where the Comica mic is unplugged. So all the audio is being recorded by the built-in mic of the Galaxy S8. And this is how it sounds like. Comparing the two, they each have their own strengths and weaknesses. First, the Comica mic isolates my voice from the room noises and echo better than the S8 built-in mic. But the S8 mic, on the other hand, sounds less compressed, like less nasally and more natural. If I had to choose one, I think I'd go with the built-in mic of the S8. This is simply because the room sound bothers me less than the nasally tone. Having said that though, it seems like the nasally tone comes from the combo of the S8 and the Comica mic. This nasally tone didn't happen when I used it with my camera. Oh, and while setting up the mobile phone test, I came across something you might want to know. If you're using the mic with a phone, there's no way to mount the mic directly on the phone. So you either need to hold them both in your hands or make something to hold them together. Definitely could have been thought out a bit better in that regards. So to sum up, I think that if you intend to use it with a phone, then there's a chance you may not like it either from the sound or the inconvenience or both. But if you're planning to use it with a camera, I think it's okay. It's not the best mic, but it's also not the worst. So as long as you know what you're getting from it, then I think the Comica mic is all right. If you like the video, consider leaving a thumbs up. If you want more, consider subscribing if you haven't. And if you have anything else to say, leave in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.